Hello, this is Talix, and welcome to Talix Trials 5 of Sword of the Stars. Now, in the last video, we attacked the planet, and I mistakenly got destroyers confused with cruisers, which is usually quite a punishable uh, thing to do, but I got lucky. Now, I have actually played this between these two videos, I've only really sorted out my designs and I queued up my next research, which is Fusion Cannon. If you noticed here as well, I changed a few. I've made all the engines improve Stutter Warp Fusion. Because <coughs> I would have had to go through every single design and changed, changed it. Um, also, I have added the Stunner Gun which is basically the disruptor on a torpedo bay of the destroyers. Again, this is a forward-facing ship. I've given it all the emitter-based weapons as well, because it looks cool with firing electric and as well as shooting this miss uh, torpedo sorry, that hits and disables the weapons. Obviously, in, the la in I was researching the fusion torpedo, I've now made a bomber, which is a ship basically built for range with this torpedo mount. Again, same principle on design, I have a forward facing strafe bridge, as many guns pointing forward as possible. Um, with the bomber and most of my destroyers now, with the fusion engine I lose out on that light mount at the back here and gain a medium mount. So obviously I equip them with missile so they can fire around the ship and attack anything facing forward. Does mean I lose out flak on the rear end though. On cruiser side, I made a mistake on my point defense vessel. It was not meant to be Gorse, the Gorse Stormer mount, instead, it was meant to be missile mount. I remembered that his anti missile and return fire. This is why there's an R there um, in the design. So, went back onto my notes and took a look and yeah I found out that I should really have all missile mounts all medium mounts as missile mounts on this ship design <coughs> oh that's something I forgot to do as well upgrade the small emitter double barrel to a single medium emi emitter yes So let's go, we got Hivers coming in again. Um, they're starting to take a few more planets now. Um, I might want to consider forming a better alliance with these guys because they are starting to take quite a nice chunk of the, the uh, galaxy. Now we've got to wait seven turns for these guys to arrive here before I press on with this fleet. Um, I want Sphinx as a system because it's a size seven. That I want to. <coughs> now I'm going to have to send this one back as it doesn't have enough fuel to really continue. We have received really, I've just made a statement by blowing up that planet. Say for now we've got more uh, different types of vessels to build. I need fusion cruisers out as quick as I can get them. Right, quick check for colonizers. Oop. Right, they should have rallied up with this. Yep, this uh, refinery fleet. Ships. Maybe not. Turn them home for the minute. Oops. Shouldn't have messed with that, but oh well. Okay, I'm going to start building a, another defense fusion fleet 
now, um, again, I'm going to just start with the refineries and command vessels. I'm going to build about eight of these if I can afford it. Yep, just about. Keeping myself nicely above that minimum, uh, one mil mark to keep my people slightly happy. turns on the fusion cannon. Let's just keep going. cannon gives me a good medium round energy based weapon that's equivalent damage to a stormer. Um, obviously we've got this heavy mount fusion cannon now and I'm requiring a heavy mount at the moment. So as much as I want, I really wanted a fusion version of the projector for the minute I'll have to stick with this one for now and research it. These main energy cannons down here are my general main battleship um, uh, heavy mount. Uh, sometimes I do go for the particle beam along the beams, but again I generally have it as an energy based. At the moment it is stormer, and I could get heavy stormer, but uh, I'm, or even a heavy driver, but at the moment I'm actually going to go and get this uh, fusion cannon. Now I should as well actually be getting salvage technology to give me a repair vessel but for, for now I am leaving it until I got to this mount here, the heavy fusion cannon. Playing it a little bit differently this time. Alrighty then, let's just continue. turns, 10 turns, it's okay, I'm going to still get a couple of uh, cruisers to say hi when they uh, get here. And also, do you have your light defence platforms up? Yes, you do. Right. Well, we're on a platforms, actually. It's a good idea <coughs> to get the medium ones. Now, medium ones are a bit more different. You need to have a certain size of a planet to build them. So, and obviously I want the most range for them, so I ignore all, f ignore all flak and just have pure missiles on all medium bays that are around. Again on the light, what light mount I'd have the longest range uh, possible. So yeah, probably be Gauss in each on one side each so it's like that and I'm gonna have flak to protect it on the other side um, do, do, do. oh yeah types of damage uh, one flak will be the gorse flak the other one will be the laser flak point obviously home doesn't have any uh, it's starting to get a nice little defensive fleet 
Um, I always fortify home first because these platforms cost a little bit more. Um, about about nine nine hundred thou to build. So that's nearly a million just to build those basic ones without any real upgrades on them. Ah, oh, right. Yes, the uh, heavy plasma uh, fusion. Sorry, can has gone over budget. to leave them left just for a little bit just to heal up a bit gone and made another friend. Right, we now have heavy fusion cannon. <coughs> so next of all will be the repair and salvage. It's an essential technology for fleets. Um, what I will do, because obviously now they've been discovered, is or a Dukai, the basic translation of Taka, and I will get more more eggy as well. But because I've now discovered the Zul, I'll probably research this one first. They, you actually get a, a mission section called the War Mount, which is a specialised um, mount that for discovering the Zul, which we get, but but the Zul don't. Which make basic makes medium mounts, heavy mounts, and on the uh, Dreadnought's more of like a broadsiding uh, heavy combat uh, laser ship, which I'll have to admit is pretty sweet. I like the war mount on destroyers and cruisers because it gives a bit more firepower at a little loss of HP. Right, repair and salvage is done. We've got asteroid mining available. So first of all, translate Zool. Alrighty. I'm gonna go up there. Clear the way for them. The right, can you build? No, you can't build. So you use the size three, so you can't actually build the medium defense platforms. But I love the little low generating one down here can. So I'm slowly fortifying all my planets. Well they brought 31 ships to the uh, battle though however and it's only one uh, scout. But hey let's take a look. Yeah, 
what a good looking uh, scout we've got. Right, in sensor view, it's probably going to be over there. We fire on this enemy. That's an asteroid, buddy. While we're at it, I'm going to zoom in over here, take a look at my lovely little hyper friends. Uh, pulse fusion engine. Can't see them yet because they haven't emerged from the uh, sensor view. Here he comes. Well, we didn't. Right, translate so Obviously, now I'm gonna translate Taka. Havoc in the Zor homeworld. Time I'm gonna pressure that planet. Is there anything that can join them? Ooh, yes, there is. Right, so if I bring that out, take that with me, can put the cruisers right there. Yep. Bigger fighting force with more, a uh, couple of cruisers, and I can command more destroyers with the uh, cruiser-sized command vessel. Now we'll do the. Uh, Translate trade career. Basically, more a guy basic language. I can now I'm gonna have a go. Um, here's the well, one of the diplomatic menus. I'm actually going to try a ceasefire with with the Tarkas. As you wish, Falcona will not attack. Peace. Only for now. Let's move on just a little bit. Cruisers v destroyers. Yeah, go for it. This should be easy. I say it should be. More guy are generally quite stubborn in their ways. What's this? Here's one of those drones, yeah. There was one about those drones earlier. Ah, they're tough to catch. Yeah, they're little tiny ships that fly around and shoot, shoot at you. What are you? 
Oh, you're a basic drone, aren't you? Oops. Where's the last of them? Ah, here they come. These are probably the uh, tankers. Uh, yes, they are. So, for tankers, I obviously want to hold back in harming because, as like the scouts do, they do blow up after they're destroyed. See, one explosion just took down a Shields Mark II on that guy. Alright. <laughs> okay, if you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, and if you want to join the cavalry, hit that subscribe button.